Martin Kate of Smuggler's Co. fame wanted to create the ultimate swizzle, and thus was born the 2070 swizzle. So where's that name come from? Well, it is a number, and is the sum of the two rums used. Angostura 1919 plus Lemon Heart 151. Now, if you don't have both of these, no problem. I will give you some substitutes. Uh, but we're going to start off with a half an ounce of lime juice directly into the glass, because remember, this is a swizzle. We're going to swizzle this drink. And then follow that up with a half an ounce of Demerara syrup. I unfortunately got to use some store-bought stuff. I, I haven't had time to make some new homemade. But I do have homemade honey syrup, so a half an ounce of a one-to-one -one honey syrup into the glass, and then allspice dram is going to be a quarter of an ounce. It's, it's amazing. Like... I make this stuff all the time, and it seems like I never run out. It, like, a, a little goes a long way with that stuff. All right, the rums. The recipe calls for one ounce of Angostura 1919, which is really good, but if you don't have that or it's hard to find in the area, uh, check for Cruzan Single Barrel Column Still Rum. That's really good. And then one ounce of Lemon Heart 151. I can't find this for the life of me, so I use Plantation OFTD, which should be a little bit more regularly available. And then one dash of Herb Stir, which is just a one-to-one -one mixture of absinthe and Angostura bitters. All right, fill up your glass with ice and then grab a swizzle stick or, in my case, a bar spoon, and you're just going to rub your hands back and forth like this for a little while, like you're making fire, uh, raise and lower it, add some dilution, add some air, and you're going to see that drink come together real nicely. And there you have Martin Kate's 2070 Swizzle. Till next time, guys.